everyone. Welcome to Livecast. It's turned into ricotta week. Look, so here's what happened. Last week we did a little easy breakfast stuff and I did that ricotta toast. Which you should do because it's magnificent. Then I had the leftover ricotta. And I did the ricotta and arugula pizza Monday. And I was thinking about the rest of this week and I went, let's just continue with the theme. So we're going to do a couple things, uh, one today and one uh, Friday, a pasta today. Yes, there will be ricotta in it. There's onions there. This is a pasilla chili. Uh, come on, we'll cut this up, we'll add it there, everything's going to be amazing. Follow along, you can make this no problemo. See? See. Uh, like any pepper, I like to cut the sides off. Right? Like this. See? The pasilla has, a, it's a green pepper and it has a little more heat than, than like a regular green pepper, but it's certainly not crazy. So, we'll just cut these into little thin strips and then across to dice and cut this way. And now in with the onions. Mix, of course. So these just need to soften. The flavor will, will get gorgeous. You don't want to eat hard vegetables, so these guys are just going to soften while we do the rest of the stuff. Onions, pasilla chilies, and wait for it. Hold on. Secrets. Don't look. Bacon. <laughs> Time to cut it up. Okay, so I'm using ready bacon. You know, I've talked about it before. Look, there's times when I like uh, completely uncooked bacon, times when I like to, this just makes life easier and blah, 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 blah. If you don't like it, then, then go with uh, like the completely uncooked bacon. I just find it simple and I don't always use it. Don't get on my case, but I do like it, so. And it's real bacon. Don't call it not real bacon. It's real bacon. It's just been helped along in the process. Okay, nicely diced up, just like everything else, and in it goes. Nice. Onions, pasilla chili, bacon. What could be next? You know there's ricotta at some point. Just let, let that do its thing for a minute. Garlic. This. But so uh, I don't want the garlic living in there too long by itself. Oh, that light's probably bad. So hold on. Let me get what I need from here. So we're ready with it. Uh, a, a dice, a can of uh, diced tomatoes. So. You can buy plain. These are fire roasted. I mean, it's going to be a little bit more flavor. That's why. I could have bought like the basil and the oregano or whatever kind. I didn't really want that. I wanted this. I wanted just relatively plain ones, but the fire roasted, it's just going to add a little bit. You know, when you cook, heat changes things. I say that all the time. Okay. So let's add the garlic here. So you can see that the bacon's starting to get a little crispy. The pasillas and the onions have started to soften. They're nice. So now in goes the garlic. Boom, like that. We'll give it just a little oil. I, I worry that if I don't do that, it's gonna burn. Let it sit there, start to get fragrant, and then we'll toss it into the whole thing. Well, I wish you were me. The smell here is unbelievable. And then just incorporate. 
Where's bad? Somebody show me the bad at this point. Ah, you can't because there isn't any. Let's stay right there because now the tomatoes come. Ready? Mm -hmm. Nice. So now, this you just want to leave on the heat, kind of on the simmer because the tomatoes are gonna to start to break down a little bit. Some juice will come out, gets to be a little bit saucy, not too much, because the ricotta is gonna melt in this and make it even more beautifully sauciness. So, we got a minute here for this. Uh, the, um, the tomato, onion, pasilla, uh, uh, pepper, garlic thing is done, it's ready. It's, it looks like this. But it's a little dry. What could it use? Hmm. Oh, it could use some ricotta. And uh, while this was finishing, I have pasta in this little pot that's now done. So come watch this whole thing. Come, come on, Maxi. Come on, come on, come on, come on. So now we're simply going to stir in the ricotta. Look how beautiful. Boom. And it's going to start to melt. You're going to see that happen. We'll mix it in with this. And look thick, right? A little thick. I mean, it could be okay if you like your pasta the sauce is this thick. But watch what we're going to do now. Now we're going to take our pasta out of here. I'm going to use my little Chinese fishing net, as they call it. In it goes. Uh, I've used, for this amount of the sauce, I've used a half a pound of pasta. And we're going to use one more thing to help thin this, and that's this. That's the pasta water, and that's the best water to use because because it's already got, it's got the starch from the pasta in it, it will help everything. It's already flavored. So watch this. See how thick this is here? This needs a little help, so. Oops, lost one. At this point, you know, you can add, you never really want to throw away that pasta water. If you can, if there's a way for you to hang on to it and whether you take it out of the pot with, you know, one of these things or, whatever you're gonna be fine but a little bit looser is what I'm going for here oh the smell oh the smell unbelievable so just everything warms through make sure you spread the sauce out really well Clearly, I want this. Come up to me for that. Uh, clearly, I want this a little. I, I don't. I don't want it. Uh, maybe because it's not winter, I don't want like a super thick, tight sauce. I want something that's a little sort of lighter, and a little bit more of the pasta water is going to do that, and is going to help me get where I want to go. And that's exactly where it is right now. So then, all we need to do is put some in a bowl. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy right now. This is not going to be the most sophisticated way to eat it, but this is really what I want to do right now. And now, only other thing I'm going to give it is what I often add last. Some fresh ground black pepper. Please get one of these. Please. And not this. I don't care what you get. Uh, hold on. Nobody move. I don't know where it is. I had a, uh, I had a store-bought little one here earlier. I can't find it. Doesn't matter. Fresh ground pepper replaces the shake pepper any day of the week for finishing this stuff, this kind of stuff. Wow! Look at this. It's crazy. Mmm. Bacon, 
oh my gosh, is incredible in this. Mm. Those tomato, the tomatoes, I mean, come on now. It's now beautiful and creamy, right? You can control the thickness like you saw. Use the pasta water for that. Uh-oh, I'm losing some. All right. So, ricotta week. The pizza with the arugula, that's a 10. The pasta with the bacon, the tomato, the onion, the pasilla chilies. Tons of flavor. You don't want, I don't want you to worry that like you're getting like crazy jalapeno kind of heat. Because you're not. It's the right amount. Just a tiny little bit, but it's beautiful. And then Friday is going to be a, um, a breakfast thing with ricotta. Not the toast. We did that last week. Not the toast. But you're really going to like it. It's going to be great. Thanks for hanging out. Tell your friends. I know I say that every time, but, but tell your friends about us, please. And make this. Do this. Send three people this video so they can see that they can make this themselves. All right? See ya.